Are you following? Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Hello, my little freaks. It's Mrs. Glass. You already know. How are my little freaks doing? Today, I'm bringing you a new haul. It's gonna be short and sweet, but before we get right into it, thank you to Impressively by Glass House for sponsoring today's video. This is my little Valentine's Day set, which I did post on my YouTube, not on my nail page, but shout out to all the girlies who ordered sets for Valentine's. And as always, go ahead and check out Impressively by Glass House on Instagram. You can order any custom set, any length, any shape, and any design. Everything is made to order. So thank you again for sponsoring today's video. I've been noticing a lot of the girlies doing a Shein haul, so I went ahead and ordered some clothes. I put together a little lookbook. And it's gonna be more of like a date night, casual day, running errands, things of that nature. I enjoy doing these hauls for all the girlies who kind of struggle making outfits or putting items together. I hope that I can inspire you and you guys can follow my lead. <laughs> I hope that I do inspire you to create these fun looks and everything that I am showing in today's video will be linked down in the description box if you guys are interested. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. This first look is called the Shein Mod Plus Size Solid Color Front Buckle Tube Top. I thought this was the most adorable thing ever. The way that I dressed it is I went kind of a different route. I got this in a 1X. And this is the material. I loved the color. I thought it was just adorable. The back panel does have a stretch to it, so there is some give. But if you do have a bigger chest, I would definitely say to go up in size. It fit me well, and the way that I went ahead and styled it is I put it on with a white polo crop top some jeans, and some loafers. This is a really cute look to just go run to the post office, go to the grocery store, or if you're gonna go to the mall and go shopping. I just thought this was so cute. You could also pair it with heels. The way I styled it was just a little casual, schoolgirlish vibes. You can definitely put this on without a shirt underneath and just have this just as is. I think that would look cute as well, especially during the summer when I'm a little more tan. I think this is gonna look gorgeous. So this is what it's looking like. It does have a little peak here, so your belly does show a little bit. So. Your stomach would show, but just a little bit, not too much. And these are functional buttons, so it does open and close, and they are black. So if you don't wanna pair it with loafers like I did, you can easily put it with some black heels, or if you have a wedge that's similar in color or a black wedge, I think that would look so cute as well. The inside also has like this little rubbery sticky material, so if you were to wear it with nothing underneath, it should kind of stay up on its own. So, I don't know, this is really cute. I After I, I put the look together, I was like, yeah, I can vibe with this. It's definitely more different, a little classy, but nonetheless adorable. So, this is what the first look is giving. This second look is called the Shein Mod Plus High Waist Wide Leg Pant. I got it in army green. It is a corduroy material, so it is all ribbed and it does have a lining going down the front of it. I got this in a 3X. I did want it to be a little more oversized. And although there is stretch on the band, I didn't want it to be so tight, especially around my stomach area, because I did want the pant to go just straight down, oversized, wide pant, and I loved the fit. It does have functional belt loops as well. 
and it is extremely wide leg so there's no doubt about it I am a short girl I'm about 5'3 so without heels it does drag on the floor for me so if you are a taller girl it would probably fit perfectly for you so I paired it with a white bodysuit and a white jean coat over and my Louis Speedy bag. I just thought this was so sophisticated, so cute. I would easily wear this for like a flight look if I'm going out of town, just a quick little look, throw in my little pieces that I need and my Speedy and just keep it moving. I think this would also look really adorable with like some ones. Instead of putting on the white heels, I could have easily thrown on some ones and still looked adorable. I think these are gonna just really come in handy this year, especially for the spring time. You know, <laughs> it's never, we, we don't get seasons where I'm from, so <laughs> we're ending out winter here. So I think this is just a good time to kind of wear these. Again, they are corduroy, so they're thick, they're warm, but I loved this look. This is so adorable. I could also put this on to go and eat some brunch with the girls on a weekend or walk around a farmer's market. I just loved this look and I can't wait to really rock it out and about. So this is what the second look is giving. I know I say in all of my hauls that the next look is always my favorite from the previous and I don't know this one is really really adorable it's totally in a different category so I can't even say that I like it better than the last one but this next look is called the she and mod plus size woman elastic waist ribbed bodycon dress I got it in the color brown and there are three additional colors available this is a ribbed material on the top. It is a scoop neck. And there is a ribbed corset that's also in the dress before it goes to a completely different material. And then it it is like a skater skirt on the bottom. I am obsessed with this. I can't wait to wear this. I got this in a 2XL. It kind of fits perfectly for my body so if you're similar to me i would definitely stay in the same realm this top portion is really stretchy so even if you do have a bigger chest i think you'll be fine and i went ahead and paired it with my cheetah lubes i just thought this was so cute i would definitely wear this out to just go have lunch i would even dress it up if i wanted to with like more jewelry or more diamonds and wear it out to go on a date if that's how I would like to do it. But nonetheless, I know that I will definitely get a lot of wear from this dress. And I loved it. Again, I think this is a cute dress that if you don't want to rock it with heels, you could easily rock it with like some white chucks. And then maybe like a bucket hat. Ugh, I think that would look adorable, honestly. So you could definitely dress this up, dress this down. I think because of the ribbed material, you don't have to always, you wouldn't have to dress it up as I would probably do. <laughs> so this is what the third look looks like. Last but not least, I got the Shein Privé Plus two-tone belted shirt dress. We all know I'm a sucker for a shirt dress, but this is kind of different because it is a two-tone color. I got it in army green again, but there are a few other colors available. As you can see, there was a theme in this haul and I'm like in my green era. <laughs> Money green is one of my favorite colors. So this is what the dress is looking like. It is a white t-shirt in the top 
but then it does immediately go into the green on the bottom. The top does have functional buttons, so you can button them up or down. And one of my favorite pieces are the sleeves. They are the poofy princess sleeves and it is collared. So it is still like a shirt, but it's a shirt dress. The green is gorgeous, I love it. And it does have a functional belt that does have real belt loops. And one of my favorite parts of this is I really love these button details on the belt. So, you know, you can tie it into a really pretty bow and just have the belt, or you can tie it and not put a, a bow and just leave it, you know, hanging down. But I just thought that the details and the buttons are so cute. So if you do have like any pair of shoes of this tortoise, you could definitely rock it like this. But I went ahead and paired it with my army heel that has a bunch of different army patches on it. And I just thought that that just brought the look completely together. I paired it with my red furla bag to keep that pop of color into the mix. And I thought I looked cute. <laughs> what can I say? Um, this is really, really cute. If you are going like on a day date, I think this would be appropriate. This is also a really great dress if you're still working in the office. You know, you're still covered up. It's a decent length and you'll look so cute. So this is what the fourth look is looking like. That was the haul. Let me know which outfit was your favorite. And as I mentioned prior, I'm gonna leave everything detailed in my description box. So if you are interested, you can head over to Shein and definitely check out the items that I purchased. I loved all of the pieces. This is a different type of vibe that I'm entering into for this year. As I mentioned in my Valentine's Day lookbook, I'm trying to show you guys a sophisticated version. You know, you can still look really pretty, really put together and still be a vibe nonetheless. Don't worry, I will be sure to sprinkle in some really sexy outfits, you already know. <laughs> but let me know which one was your favorite and Thank you again for Impressively by Glasshouse for sponsoring today's video. Don't forget to check them out and make sure that you're following me across all of my social media platforms. Clearly, you guys are not watching my videos because I've been saying at the end of every video to leave a little something in the comments so that I can choose a lucky winner and I'll send you some money. Um, no one did it on the first video when I came back and no one did it in my Valentine's Day lookbook. Like even my A1 day ones, you're watching the video, but I don't think you're really watching it thoroughly. <laughs> so in today's video, let me see. I want to know. All right, I got it. I want to know if you guys have any spring break plans to go away on holiday, if you're going out of town, or if you have any spicy spring break stories, because I would love to hear it. <laughs> There's a lot of changes happening. I think in like Atlanta, I know Miami, they're like breaking up with spring break. So there's a lot of closures happening, a lot of curfews, and it's just not gonna be the same. So I wanna know what you guys are doing or if you have any spicy stories, I would love to hear it. So I can't wait to hear from you guys and I'll see you guys on the next one. I love you my little freaks, bye.